Good morning, everybody. Park Ranger David Britton here, uh, and I'm standing in the middle of the Three Sisters Garden here at Dunbar Cave. You can see it all around me here. But to talk a little more with you about this, we have uh, one of our staff members who's going to give you a little more information. I have with us here Marley Williams. She's one of our seasonal interpretive rangers here at Dunbar Cave and the driving force and caretaker behind our Three Sisters Garden. Uh, so Marley, uh, would you mind taking us through the garden and telling us uh, what's growing here and the, why it's planted the way it is? Okay, so we have corn and then we have beans and then squash. So these are the three sisters garden, or the three sisters in the garden. Okay. Um, the tallest sister, she is um, strong, narrow. She is the, the roots of the sisters. And then the second sister is the beans. So okay. she's wild and wants to climb up and be everything like the first sister. And then there's the third sister and she's the squash. Well, she doesn't want to be like the other sister. She crawls along the, along the ground, but each one is doing something to complement and help the other. So the corn provides that structure for the beans okay. to grow up. The beans are actually putting back into the soil the nitrogen that the corn is removing. Okay. And the squash is covering out the ground and providing a moisture barrier, keeping them all um, healthier, hydrated throughout. Okay. Where does the story of the three sisters come from? Is that an indigenous story? Yes. So uh, the roots are as far back as the 10th century. So most groups have been growing something to this since different varieties of things um, since at least that period. Okay. It even followed in with the, the Cherokee mm -hmm. through the Trail of Tears. Okay, so it's it's a pretty long-standing story, right? Yes. Fantastic. So, are uh, how are we successful right now? Are we having any issues? Um, bugs. 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 Well, bugs. tell us about. It. So so far, just the aphids that I have noticed. Um, we've used neem oil, so it's actually an oil derived from a tree, so more natural, considerably closer to what they might have used to combat bug issues okay. um, traditionally. But outside of that, I haven't had any other problems out here other than um, nutrients. Corn takes a lot of nitrogen and this not being ground where there's been a garden previously, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't all here. But gotcha. it should be there for next year thanks to the beans. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Anything else you want to leave the public with? Are you going to be doing any programs coming up? or? Yes, so on Sunday at 9 a.m. I will be offering a, a time after time program. We're gonna take a walk through the park to talk about how cultures like the Mississippian culture um, would have developed. So we'll start with um, some things from like the woodland period, then walk around, come to the garden and talk about that. And then finally we'll leave off at the cave talking about more um, centralized cultural beliefs. Fantastic. Well, thanks for uh, giving us the quick uh, nickel tour here, Marley. There's a pretty cool wayside panel here that will tell you a little bit more about what there is to learn about our Three Sisters Garden. We hope you come out.